All right, guys, we're back with round two, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Matt Burns on the left playing a Heart of the Underdog skill drain deck versus Joey Lynch on the right playing Machina Turbo. So Matt is, I believe, still kind of new to Edison, so we'll see how he does. Uh, first time I've ever had him on the channel, but I've seen him around a few times. I've played him once. Okay, so Lynch summons Lila, targets, and uh, Matt chains skill drain to Lila's effect. So obviously switching to defense mode is not a cost, so it's gonna stay in attack mode. And I don't know. I guess it's his deck is just full of vanillas. I don't know that vanilla monster. I don't know its attack, but we'll find out. Alright, Lynch summons Lila, sets three, so we'll see what Matt's deck can do. He was usually playing Grave Keepers, and I think he's running like D Fissures and stuff in his deck. So he attacks over the Lila. So it looks like it's a 1900 beater. Yeah, so Heart of the Underdog. Let me read this card. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it, draw one more card. Activates two of them and passes to Lynch. <clears throat> this skill drain might hurt Lynch's deck. It's going to stop his Rikos, his Hamsters, his Gear Frames. So Lynch mills Fortress and Hamster. The good news is that skill drain won't stop Fortress. So he searches Ryko. Maybe he's got MST or Dust in his hand. I'm not sure if Lynch is main decking Dust, but he also, I think he used to be on one Regeki break. So here comes Yada. Joey is now on the Yada and uh, Jar Train, which I'm not a fan of, but a lot of people are. And he composes the Fortress, which is not too bad. It's not the worst. And pitches Cyber Valley and a Fortress itself to bring back Fortress. And now pass. It looks like he did not draw a normal monster, so he's not going to get draws from the heart of the underdog. Sets another back row and passes. All right, let's see. Lynch attacks the vanilla, so Matt will take 600. So both these guys won round one, I believe. Okay, so he reveals Flame Bell Gar. He's going to draw two cards. Okay. Pot of Greed real quick. <laughs> But he's still got to deal with that 2,500 Fortress, so we'll see. Oh, heavy. I'm a little under the weather, so I'm not 100%, guys. I've been sick. That's why I didn't upload yesterday, so I'm still recovering. <laughs> so you didn't get my usual, oh, heavy. <laughs> okay, so Matt sets. I'm surprised he's playing heavy in such a, like, heart of the underdog skill drain deck. Surprising. Here comes Deep Prison, the Fortress. Lynch sets. At least Lynch doesn't have to worry about Heavy Storm anymore. So he flips Skill Drain at the end phase, which is not bad. Maybe he has Solemn set, I guess. And then here comes, what is this, Vorse Raider? No, it's not. Is it Vorse Raider? Yeah, I think it's Vorse Raider. So he attacks the Raikou. Sets two. Lynch is down on cards, but here comes Avarice, so puts back Raikou, Valley, basically everything. Raikou, Valley, Hamster, Lila, and Machina Force. I think he's got another Fortress in the grave, so now Lynch is going to draw two cards. I think he drew another Raikou. All right. I think he drew MST and another Raikou, so at least he has out to skill drain. So who will move on with a 2-0 record? Lynch or Matt Burns? Matt Burns, yeah, there's the MST on the skill drain. No response. Oh, it's Hamster, not Raikou. I, th I thought he drew Raikou. I guess it was Hamster that he drew. Brings out Raikou. So Vorse Raider cannot... Oh, no, it's 1,900. At least I think it's Vorse Raider. <laughs> you know, guys, for the early rounds, I always try to get the interesting decks or the non-common decks because once we get the top cut, we know what we're going to see. Bayou, Black Wings, Frogs, Machina, especially if Joey's playing, GBs if Javi's playing, so that's why I like to get the not-so-familiar decks in the early rounds. So here he summons Gene Warp Werewolf. I know this card. It's a 2,000 Beast. So he's playing around Mirror Force, attacks with the Gene Warp, and then here comes Joey decides to just get rid of the 2,000 Beater. Now he can flip his Raikou, right? If he wants. 
And he chooses to flip the Raikou, right targets the back row. Mills Plague. Was it Plague, Raikou, Machina Force that he milled? Tributes for Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon runs over the Morse Raider. So now Lynch has two back rows, but Burns still got still up on cars on Lynch, even after the Avarice. Here comes Gene Warp Werewolf. Flip some in Flame Velgar. Now he can synchro for six. Goyo, maybe. Oh no, that's a five. Sorry. I thought it was a six. I'm stupid. No, it's a five. So Catastro, he can contact. Maybe you contact here and don't risk it. Uh, oh, he chose not to attack, but now Lynch passed. What? Lynch chose not to contact either? Maybe Lynch has an out to the Catastor. Man. Oh, Lynch is like... <laughs> He's like putting his head on the camera. So here he mirror forces the Catastor. <laughs> Why didn't either one of them contact? That's so weird. I was expecting at least one of them to contact. So now Lynch with two back rows. Now Lynch is up on cards. And then here comes Jar of Greed. Why did he jar here? Is he trying to draw it to Gores? No. So 78 to 33. It looks like Matt Burns is at 33. Here comes another vanilla. I don't even know. Just Torrential. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hamster Raikou, and now three to four cards. A gear frame would just be insane right here. But I believe Matt Burns is at 12 now. Okay, now Matt Burns with two back rows. Lynch has now used his heavy, so now it's just a, now three back rows. Come on, did Lynch use his heavy? No, I know Matt Burns used his. I don't think Lynch has used his yet. But you saw Starlight Road earlier. So Matt Burns is probably on two Starlight Roads. All right, here comes Pata, Pata Avarice. So maybe Matt Burns doesn't have Solemn because he might have Solemn the, the Avarice. I'm mean, here at 1,200. All right, let's find out. And here comes Heavy. <laughs> No Solemn, no Starlight Road. Pitch for Forgers, and that is game. Should be game. Yes, yeah, so Lynch takes game one. Wait, he has Dark Arm in this deck? And a vanilla deck? That's interesting. Anyways, Lynch takes game one. Who's going to move on with a 2-0 record? Matt Burns summons a vanilla. I don't even know what vanilla it is. Activates Heart of the Underdog. Sets a back row and passes. Heavy. <laughs> okay, it's skill drain, hard of the underdog. Summon gear frame. Okay, this is not looking good for Matt Burns. He took a minus one. Pitches fortress for fortress. Attacks for, what, 600? So 24 total. And will he equip the gear frame is the question. So he does equip the gear frame and passes. Come on, heavy, I'm back. Heavy. <laughs> summons another vanilla sets activates d fissure and passes i wonder if he cited the d fissure all right special summon gear frame activate second heavy <laughs> hey dragon turbo they can heavy you more than once that's the annoying part like you'll saw them they're heavy and then they'll go magical stone Okay. That D Fissure might hurt, hurt Joey Lynch a bit just because he can, it'll slow down his pot of avarice. All right. What's life? 56. So he right goes the D Fissure, Mill Cyber Dragon, Lila, and Yada. Passes, so now Summon Plague, Synchro for six. Goyo, probably. Yes, Goyo, the big vanilla. I don't know which vanilla that is. I knew Vorus Raider, just because I know it from the original anime. 
Okay, I know Flame Bell Guard, but that, that one that he took, I don't know what it is. So now Matt sets one monster, one back row. I mean, it's a vanilla deck, so he probably set another vanilla. So here, Goyo. Oh, he set Crow. He's going to take the Crow, attacks him for 19. Now two back rows from Lynch. Now two back rows from Matt. The prison is the Goyo, attacks him for 19, and he's down to like 900. And now another set monster, probably a Raikou. Let's see, can Matt Burns get out of this? Activates Heart of the Underdog, and end phase, Joey dusts the bottomless, and now that should be game. So Joey Lynch is moving on with a 2-0 record. We'll see if Matt can fight back and sneak into top into top four. So, uh, so some of you guys who watch the channel, it's usually four rounds cut the to top eight or five rounds cut the to top four. So it all comes down to like how many undefeated we have after round four. For this tournament, we actually, the undefeated won. So we had uh, five rounds cut the to top four. So Matt's going to have to win out. He can't lose anymore in order to get into top four. Hope you guys enjoy that match and we'll be back soon for round three. Bye, guys.